Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you guys a video that I haven't done on my channel before and I've actually had requests to do this video. Um, but it's basically my perfume collection. I'm gonna be letting you guys know all about the perfumes that I own. So here are all my perfumes. It's not a whole lot and I'll let you guys know why, but um, I'm the kind of person that likes to have their signature perfume, if you could say, but I do love trying out different perfumes just in case I fall in love with another one. And then at the same time, I feel like every five years, I like to try and change my perfume just so I keep memories. I don't know about you guys, but is there any time that you smell something that takes you back to a place in your time? Well, that's kind of basically me. Whenever I smell my husband's perfume that he used to use in the, back in high school, like it just takes me back to those memories and you know, things like that. So um, that's why I kind of like switching up my perfumes. But yeah, so uh, I'm going to let you guys know right off the bat my favorite perfume at the moment and that I keep using a lot. And it's basically this one by Victor and Rolf. This one is called Flower Bomb. And I even have it in my little Stempered um, bottle because I love carrying this with me. So here's how it looks. This is what Stempered is. If you guys have no idea what Stempered is, it's basically a subscription where you guys can pay $14.95 to get a bottle like this. Like it's almost basically a, a roller bottle and it's half the price of a roller ball because for me to buy the roller ball of this one in Sephora or anywhere else is it almost $35 if not a little bit more. Which is crazy and insane because obviously I could get the rollerball from here, from Semperd, and it's only $14.95 and it's $14.95 a month plus free shipping and you could cancel the subscription at any time. Um, I have worked in the past before with them and I actually do have a coupon code which is BBIRDIE25 um, which is going to get you 25% off your first purchase with them. But they sent you a complimentary white metal case where you could keep your perfume and it's so easy to use because all you have to do is kind of twist it, it comes up and then once you want to change the perfume or if you want to keep you know reusing the same one but it runs out all you have to do is just kind of pop it up and you can change the perfume I actually have a lot of different colors of bottles from Semperd as you guys can see I have them in red pink blue and gray I don't understand how expensive roller balls can get but Thankfully, Sempered exists and it's so easy to use. All you have to do is just pick out your perfumes. If you have a hard time trying to find a perfume that you want to try out with them, don't worry because they have like over 450 brands of perfume. So you could definitely go ahead and <laughs> take your time selecting one. But um, if you do have a hard time trying to find a perfume for you, I would take their quiz. They give you recommendations based off on what you like to smell. Every month you could change it or you could keep sticking to the same one. I do have a coupon code which you could get 25% uh, off your first purchase with them which is BBIRD25. I've worked with them in the past before and my coupon code is still active for you guys. So if you guys wanted to ever try them. I always have this one in my purse and as well whenever I'm traveling. Also the other thing that I love about Sempered is that if you do fall in love with the perfume, for example me with uh, Victor and Rolf, right? Um, they give you $15 off your full size bottle just in case you do want to commit to the perfume they could you could get a discount on top of that so that way it's not so expensive so you get a little discount there um but yeah so if you guys are interested i will have a link for down below in the description box and also with the coupon code that way you guys don't forget going back to the perfume i'm gonna read you guys off the notes because i kind of suck at describing things let me be honest but i'm gonna go into my phone and read you guys the notes that we guys know or have an idea of what it smells like okay so these has notes of sandbag jasmine Centifolia Rose, Catalia Orchid, Ballerina Frisia, and Patchouli, which are basically almost all flowers. So that's why I really love it because I do love very floral scents. I don't like them too strong. This one is kind of like in the middle, I would say. Oh, it just smells so good. But I also love the packaging. I don't know why. It looks like an actual bomb, like flower bomb, you know? So I just love everything about this. I highly recommend it to you guys. If you guys ever go into Sephora, smell this, you're definitely gonna love it. So yeah, this is the first perfume, Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Highly, highly recommend it to you guys. Um, the second favorite perfume that I have here is this one from Marc Jacobs. This is Daisy. Oh, I love this so, so much. This one is very fruity, so nothing to do with flowers. I mean, even though 
it has flowers, but it's more than anything, it's very fruity. This one has strawberry, violet leaves, ruby ripe grapefruit, gardenia, violet petals, jasmine petals, musk, vanilla, and white woods. Um, and then all together just smells so good. So this one, I've actually been using it for a lot longer than um, Flower Bomb. This one, I've had it for maybe like two years and... I still love it. This one, I only like wearing it during the summertime. So right now, during the summertime, I do like to wear this one a lot more than when it's actually like December or anything like that. So yeah, th that is what Daisy kind of smells like. Very fruity and as, as, at the same time, kind of flowery. And I also love the packaging of this. I just think it's so cute and pretty just to have on your vanity, you know? So yeah, this is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. One that I've actually have been using for many, many years is this one from Ralph Lawrence. This one is called Romance and it smells so amazing. This one though, I do find it to be a very strong perfume. So once one spray, you're good with that. Um, this, which is why I keep the little small bottle size. They do have a bigger one, but I like to keep the small one because of the fact that it's so strong that I only need one spray and that's it. This one honestly is like kind of like my all year round perfume because it just kind of works for the summer, spring, winter, anything you know that you could think of. It's just kind of like a perfume that will just kind of like flowing with the whole season um but let me read you guys the notes this one has sun goddess rose mar marigold ginger chamomile oil yellow freesia white violet lotus flowers daily lily patchouli oak moss and musk so yeah those are the notes and honestly i just i just really love it but like i said it is a little bit strong so only one and you're good to go not even kidding and then you could even smell it from like far away so it's a very strong perfume but it's not a perfume that will give you a headache or the you know how some of them are really strong and you right away start getting a headache i hate those but this one is not really like that because of the fact that how, how it smells it's a very pleasant smell so i definitely recommend it to you guys just in case you guys are like those kind of people that don't like to spray a lot of perfume on you this is probably going to be a great perfume for you because like I said only one and then you're good to go now I have here with me this one from Juicy Couture this one is called Viva La Juicy um, I honestly bought this one because of a friend of mine that when I used to live in Tijuana she would smell so amazing every time so I once one day I just decided to ask her I'm like what are you wearing you know it smells so good and then she told me this one so when it came to my birthday this is what I asked for this perfume and my husband bought it for me and I love it so so much um, but this one, uh, <laughs> you guys are probably going to laugh, but my mom says I smell like a grandma when I wear this. I don't know why. I don't smell it on me like that, but she says I smell like a grandma whenever I wear this. So I don't even know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. So this one has wild berries, mandarins, honeysuckle, gardenia, jasmine, amber, caramel, vanilla, saddlewood, and praline. I love it. I really, really love it. But every time I wear it, I just kind of think about what my mom told me that I smell like a grandma. And then that's when I'm like, kind of like, uh, maybe I shouldn't wear it. <laughs> so it's it's kind of like a love and hate with this now. So thanks, mom. <laughs> but yeah, this is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. The next perfume I have here is from Vera Wang. This is called Love Struck. And this one, I actually, I got it as a gift from my brother. And it smells so good. Um... I don't know why I feel like this perfume is very seductive and like, um, I don't know. But let me read you guys the notes that you guys get in the as well. Alright, so this one has pink guava, mandarin, tuber rose, lotus blossom, precious woods, and sheer mux. Um, but it really is very flory, but in a very seductive way, I would say. Um, this one as well, I kind of find it to be a little bit strong. I don't wear it as much anymore, but back then when I first got it, I was always wearing it all the time and my husband really loved this one um but yeah so this one i really love the packaging i mean this is so beautiful as well just to have it on your vanity um but yeah i love that it's purple like this and like i said i really love fluorescent so this is a really favorite of mine um but then the other perfume that i have here is from victoria's secret um this one is the very sexy very sexy perfume yeah this one has been an all-time favorite of mine um i've used it for so many years and i still this is actually a new bottle because i just got it i don't know if you guys um saw the promo if you bought i, I don't even know what it was i think a full-size bra or something else they would give you a free perfume so i obviously picked this one because i don't really like the other ones 
Oh, it just smells so sexy. I love this. Um, and then on top of that, the whole packaging kind of screams out like sexy. <laughs> so this one has vanilla orchid, sun-drenched clementine, and midnight blackberry. Mm, I feel like that's the one that makes it smell so sexy. But I just love it. It is like kind of like a floral scent, but like I said, like in a very sexy way. <sighs> I just feel like the whole packaging, the name, everything about this goes all together. So if you ever want to be sexy on one night with your man, this is the perfume. <laughs> and I also got it with a fragrant mist. So this is how it looks. It's obviously not a perfume, but you know, just the days that you want to go to the gym or something. I don't know. You could just spray this and it'll smell so good. But now for the very last perfume that I have is this one from Ed Hardy. This one I think is called, let me see. Hearts and Daggers. So yeah, this is how it looks. I feel like the packaging is very different because you actually pull it up and then you have your whole perfume bottle here. So I got I don't know, I just like the whole packaging of this. I don't even remember what this one smells like. It's been such a long time. So this one has pear, basil, martini combined with middle notes of rosemary, papaya, and pepper. So I don't even know what it smells like. Hold on, let me smell it again. Mmm, very fruity. <laughs> very, very fruity. Even though it has a lot of notes of flowers, but it's, it definitely smells very fruity. Mmm, I love how it has happy notes of flowers because it makes it seem like it's very fruity. Now that I'm just remembering the scent, it's like perfect for the summer right now. So, oh my god, I feel like I'm going to start wearing this again. Um, but yeah, this one, I don't know, it's been like a year over a year probably since I last used it. And I just remembered like why I fell in love with it. It just smells so good. And it's definitely right now the perfect time to wear it because it's very fruity. So, like I said, I love fruity um, scents for the summer. I just, I don't know, it makes me happy. It puts me in a happy mood. Um, but yeah, so literally, you guys, that is all for my perfume collection. I don't have a lot because, like I said, I don't like to keep switching up a lot. But, like I said, I do like to try out different scents. Every other year, I do like to switch it up just so I could have a different scent. So, right now, the ones that I've been actually testing out is this one um, from Lacoste, Touch of Pink. And, like I said, I, I like to try my perfumes from the Semper line because, like I said, it allows you to try them out without having to commit to buy or spend so much money on a perfume, right? So, yeah, this one is Lacoste, Touch of Pink. Um, then, this one over here that I have is Giorgio Armani, Coluna. I haven't even smelled it yet, so... Let me see. Mmm, it's very strong. It's very citrusy. And then the other one that I'm trying out as well is Valentino. Valentina Aqua Flor... Flor... Uh, Floriola? <laughs> Forget it. Anyways, I like that it, this one is also very flory. So you guys know I love floral scents. And then over here I have Gucci Guilty. Now Gucci Guilty I've heard everyone talk about and that it's amazing and stuff like that i haven't even smelled it either um but i'm gonna be testing it out to see if i really love it it's if it's worth the hype as well um but yeah so those are the perfumes that i'm testing out and then all the perfumes that i own and that i have loved for many years um let me know what perfume you guys think i should try out or you know which ones are your guys' favorite let me know in the comment section if you guys like the video don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up or let me know what other collection video you guys would like to see from me and with that my loves thank you guys so much for watching as always i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye Mwah.